Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to graph a line in slope-intercept form with a slope of negative 1. For our example, we have y equals negative x minus 4. So we need to figure out our slope and y-intercept here. Now we'll start with the slope. And this is where it's common for people to get held up because we just have a negative x. We don't see any slope, any number in front of it. Well, when we just see an x with no number written in front, there's an implied 1 in front of that x. In other words, it's understood that there's just 1 of that x. And in this case, we have a negative x. So this is actually negative 1x. And we can even rewrite this with the negative 1 in front, which we will do here in a second. So our slope is negative 1, and then our y-intercept is negative 4. Now you may be thinking, shouldn't we have plus b plus the y-intercept? Well, instead of writing plus negative 4, so adding negative 4, the equation has been simplified. So we don't have a double sign here. Addition and then the negative. We can just write this as subtraction. Now we do have the option of rewriting this with addition. That can help make the y-intercept a little more clear. So let's rewrite this as y equals negative 1x plus negative 4. So we included that negative 1, and then adding negative 4 and subtracting 4 give us the same thing. So either will work here. Again, slope of negative 1 and y-intercept of negative 4. Now for our slope, let's actually write this in fractional form. That way we can see our rise and run. And all we need to do here is put negative 1 over 1. So negative 1 over 1. And now we can clearly see that our rise is negative 1 and our run is positive 1. Now let's graph. Starting with the y-intercept, we need to plot a point at negative 4 on the y-axis. So at 0, negative 4, which is right here. Now we need to go from that y-intercept using our slope. So rise of negative 1, that means we need to go down one unit. And then our run is positive 1, which means we go to the right one unit. So down 1 and then to the right one. Our second point is right here. Once we have those two points, we can draw our line through the points. And that's our line. And you'll notice, since we have a negative slope here, the line is moving downward as it's moving from left to right. So there you have it. There's how to graph a line in slope-intercept form with a slope of negative 1. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.